Good luck to do a Q&A with you if you got a couple minutes. Definitely. Okay, outstanding. Uh, uh, I'll go ahead and ask the first question myself. Can you pronounce your full name for us? Yes, it's Andre Yosibosh. Yosibosh. Gotcha. Accent, yep. on, uh, accent on the first syllable, Yosibosh. Got it. Yep. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, guys. Thank you. Yossi Vosh. All right. Andre, congratulations. Uh, d describe this accomplishment for you, you know, playing in the Ivy League, being a heptathlete, and being drafted by an NFL team. Yeah, I mean, it, it was surreal. Once I, like, heard the phone call, I couldn't stop myself, like, from holding back my tears. I had a bunch of people around me, and there's just, I couldn't help myself from uh, tearing up. But it's just a culmination of all the work that I put in on the on the gridiron and on the track just me being an athlete how do you imagine academics and football oh, sorry uh, I'm working, um yeah sorry can you hear me yeah go ahead i'm sorry i didn't hear you there my bad oh yeah it's all good yeah but it's just a culmination of all the hard work that i've put in like on the on the football field on the track and especially in the, in the classroom and i'm just a hard worker and i'm just glad it all is paying off right now can you imagine Joe Burrow throwing to you right now? I mean, obviously, we asked other guys like Charlie Jones about that. I mean, how cool is that knowing that, you know, he's going to be throwing to you in practice? Yeah, I mean, that, that that's probably the most ideal situation that I could probably think of getting drafted to the NFL, so I'm pretty happy about that. Like, what? you wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else, but you wanted to be in Cincinnati out of all the other 31 teams. Yeah, I mean, because I, I went on a 30 visit with the Bengals, and I met everybody, you know, like, from the owner to the to the coaches, and... They just showed me the most love, and it felt like home. You know, people make a home, not a place. So it, I felt really good when I met with them. The the NFL dream. When did you first think that was, um, you know, a path you could take? Obviously, you know, come up through the Ivy League. Um, when did you first think of that as a possibility? Uh, I kind of felt like that after, like I would say after my junior season. I would say before my junior season, I started working really hard so that I could be in the position to be in the NFL, but. After my junior season was when I really realized that it was it, it could be true. Your uh, your head coach uh, co coached here a long time ago. He coached here for almost ten years ago. Yep. Uh, did he uh, after the thirty visit? Did you guys talk before the thirty visit? Did you talk? Has he talked to you at all about the Bengals in Cincinnati? Oh well, you know that, that, that was one of the things before. Like everybody knows, Coach Ray was with the Bengals, um, so that was already a relationship that we knew. Um, but we, I mean, we're always in contact, so. I mean, obviously, he, he was really ecstatic that I, I had a visit with the Bengals, and I can bet he's super ecstatic right now. Have you heard from him now? Did you hear from him after the call? I mean, my, 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 my phone is literally, like, blowing up with, like, hundreds of messages <laughs> right now, so I need to get back to everybody, like, eventually, but I honestly haven't checked. I, I just just looking out for you guys. Uh, Did you I'm, have other 30 visits? Um, no, I had local days with the Jets, Giants, and Eagles, um, but the Bengals were my only 30 visits, so that meant a lot to me. I'm sure uh, your speed is your biggest strength. What's your second biggest strength? I would say my, my big playability, just with all of my hands, I, I'm super quick and I, I'm, I'm super dynamic. So I think being a playmaker along with that speed just helps in all aspects of football. How, how does your track help you in football? Just being an athlete, you know, making acrobatic catches. You know, like twirling around, you know, pole vault helps me with in the air. I jump around, make catches. It's just being an all-around athlete you know, it doesn't hurt you on any like playing field. What position, What's your favorite? What position did you play in high school basketball? Oh well, that was only that was only my JV year. I, I was a shooting guard, but I wasn't. Yeah, after that, I was like, you know, maybe I should just stick to football and track. Well, what was your favorite uh, uh, event in the heptathlon? I would say most likely like the sprints, the jumps, and the pole vault. Out of the other sports outside of football, what would you say is your favorite? Like, how would you rank your favorite sports from football to the other ones that you played? Uh, well, football, yeah, football is the first, and then track I like a lot. And then I, I, I don't know if you consider this a sport, but I, I body surf a lot, so I guess you can consider that like my third favorite sport. So between your head coach being a former Bengals assistant, having a 30 visit, uh, coming the owner here is an Ivy Leaguer, did this make yep. sense to you? Were you like, the Bengals are the team? Yeah, literally after my 30th visit, once I met with everybody, I had, a, I had a gut feeling that this was the spot that I wanted to be home. And, you know, now it's reality, so I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. So what do you like about Burrow? 
everything. I mean, he puts the ball in spots that only the receiver can catch it. Um, he throws you open, and you know he he understands the game at a very high level. So not only can he make good plays, but I can also learn from him. You know, one thing Troy Walter said was that when you guys had dinner together, he was impressed by like the questions you were asking him, like how you can get better and things like that. I mean, how do you feel mm-hmm. like you can get better, and what does that kind of say about just your skill and your aptitude coming into the NFL? Yeah, I, I, I mean, as a receiver, just as a young receiver, I think I can get better at everything. Like, obviously, I know what my strengths are, um, but literally just being more polished as a route runner, um, yeah, blocking, just being lower, just anything a receiver needs to be great, I can always get better at. What's your major? Uh, I was a politics major. What? Is there anything that Bob, what was it like playing for Sarace? What did you take away from playing with, uh, with Bob, for Bob? Uh, you just, just trust the process, you know, like Princeton obviously is a very rigorous academic school and, and they, they put you through the ringer just academically and through football. We're a very good program, so it's all about trusting the process, working hard, and everything will work out eventually. Outside of football, hypothetically, like, what would you want to be doing career-wise? Obviously, politics. Honestly, major. I... Well, the politics wasn't for that reason. It's just I did politics just because I was good at writing papers, and so I, I played to my strengths. But I went to Princeton um, kind of as a backup in case I didn't go to the NFL. The NFL was always the plan, and I honestly haven't thought about what I would do if I didn't touch football. Are you a pretty good debater? Uh, no, I have not debated. You don't have to do uh, debates in politics, thank God, but I think I could be good if I tried. That's great. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Okay, Appreciate you too. It. Thank you.